Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Today we are going to expand our city a lot. I'm aiming to unlock ships so we can get them sorted out on the coast and also build a huge leisure section as well. We did a lot of work in this area last time. Let's zoom out a bit with our football stadium, our car parking. I banned parking on all the roads, so everybody is now using this. And we're going to have a match coming up in this episode. It's the 11th PSG, which is who we are, versus Las Palmas. Tomorrow, parking is being used a lot more, which is fantastic. I did a little bit of work on here to get this sorted out. We were getting a lot of traffic backing up. I used the lane management here, which you can see on the screen yourself. So anybody coming out has to turn right so they don't block any of the traffic. And they can come all the way down here, use the roundabout and come back up if they so wish. That is moving five. We've got a nice commercial need that we need to fill. And this uh, area down here, I want to get some leisure specialization up here and make a nice leisure area. So let's get on with that. And then also we need more people. We really need to hit some more targets. So I think once we have all of those in, we are then going to expand our city as well. That is the plan. Sunnyside Square. Let's have a look how this is going on over here. Again, banned all parking from everywhere. So they're using all the car parks, which is good. We're getting a bit of traffic backing up here. Let us take a quick look at what's happening. So first of all, we don't want them stopping at these nodes. You can go through. Uh, you can go through there. We want these guys to give way, which they're doing. That's good. And then here, what have we got? We don't have traffic lights. We have everybody sitting around waiting. Let's just check our lane management on here. Yeah, we've got this one going left and straight on, which you might not be able to see. It's teeny tiny. So we're going to change that just to left. And then this lane for straight on. And then what you're suddenly going to see is cars, hopefully, using this lane here. And we'll see how that goes. Obviously, it's a bit of a backup at the moment. We're going to say, pick your lane there, pick your lane there, pick your lane there. All right, we'll see how that goes. That should be fine. And then I'm actually thinking about, because I don't want to just drop a roundabout in there, it's actually plopping some traffic lights in. Oh, my giddy aunt. Biffa's lost it. He's putting traffic lights in, and that might just let this go a little bit better let's just speed that up i would like a pedestrian crossing bridge over the top there and i'm pretty sure we have this the pedestrian bridge there we go like that i think that yes look at that Do you know what? i'm just going to use the move it mod and i'm just going to line that up a little bit better there we go and hopefully people will use that instead of crossing over and we will encourage that by saying no crossing here uh, no crossing there. You have to come over the top. This one... Okay. Aye, no crossing! I said no crossing. And then hopefully that will help this area get sorted out. So let's just see what happens there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Look at that. That sorted that out already. This isn't so busy. This is going... I think I can be pleased with that. And this is moving as well. Good, excellent. Overall, our traffic is, let's use this view, 75%. Oh, the other thing I wanted to track, check was that's going okay. People are liking this area. And this area here could like and subscribe. There we go. What a reminder. Get stuck into that. Oh, I need to stop them parking on this road. We are going to get to our leisure. There we go. Use all the car parks I put in for you. Right back over here. Sometimes with roads, I just like to, you know, make whoops, make it up as I go along and see what sort of shapes we get. And it just makes it interesting. So rather than grids, you get rows that look like they've been put in for a reason and, you know, made a bit different. And I'm going to have this go up and over the top. I want straight slope and we are going to go yeah plenty of space there we go that's good and now we're in here and we can sort of connect to something up here and i even think a little roundabout on the end of this could work out quite well these power lines are going to end up going at some point anyway that sort of size yes there we go That'll be good. I'm going to move it further down. That's what I'm going to do. We're getting a bit of hawky balkiness with the roads. All sorted. Very good. So what we do then is we brace this. So any changes we make to it aren't going to get messed around. And then we can have a look at these roads here and see what we're going to do.
Right, so I've thrown down a roughly sort of haphazard type road layout, which I think will be interesting once we get all of our buildings on there. That will be good. Let's just make sure this roundabout is set up correctly for all the giveaway stuff and things like that. I think that should be okay. I want to make sure that these roads coming on are giving way. Uh, that one's giving way to the car. This is one way going up and around. You may put a bus stop or something in there. We shall see. And I think that's the only way sort of in and out. Yeah, we should be okay. I think that'll be fine. So let us make sure that this is marked to be the right sort of thing. This one here, leisure specialization. There we go. Sunnyside Square. Perfect. So I'd quite like some of the larger leisure buildings running along the back here. So they're sort of going to be visible from this road here and then we can have some smaller ones around this side over here and even perhaps along there i don't want anything on the roundabout so that's where all our buildings are going to grow um as it's a leisure area i'm just wondering whether we have any other 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 any other unique buildings that we could put in here as well let me have a look through oh a nice old cinema that would be fantastic. Could we squeeze that in? I think that would be perfect. Right there. Yep, excellent. Definitely a park in here. That one fits in nicely. A nice friendly neighbourhood park. I think that will go well. Okay, so here is the start of our leisure area. I've got a little bit of stuff going on in the middle of the roundabout here. We've got a nice little park, and I don't think it's looking too bad. Done a bit of decoration here by the car park. Getting very busy by the car park here. We've had our football match. We missed it. I can't believe it. I was looking at our little thing down here thinking this was going to be the time, but that's the expo center over here. So it'll be interesting to see how busy that gets. But we had our match, and let's see what happens we lost darn it well we could try and uh help them not lose next time by doing something like this subsidize youth which is good uh, we could have increased match security and free transportation we might see another match we shall see but this is going to kick in today but yeah it's very busy leaving the car park these people here are like i don't know what they're doing Oh, I see what's going on. Are these going to now move around? Ah, uh, okay. A little bit of traffic management needs to go on here then. So we're going to say, you go through. Uh, you go through. And then there's a junction here. I want you to go through. Don't just sort of queue up and sit there. Keep going. And don't stop. And then now we've got the buses are going to come around here to get into there. Now that is interesting. Let's just have a quick look at our bus routes. So this bus is now taking a shortcut through there instead of going down there so i'm just wondering whether we could amend that unfortunately unless we want to add another stop somewhere else we can't but what i am going to do is add a stop in here and i'm going to add a stop in there for those two lines that should be fine yeah it's all moving along not too concerned about that what's going on down here you should be going straight through do you know what it is i bet we haven't got enough lanes here some of you are trying to turn in and cut through to the other side. So I am going to say, if you come down here, you cannot turn. Nope, you have to go straight on, and that's it. So to stop these guys blocking each other up. And then I'm going to say here, you can go through, you can go through, and you can go through, you can go through. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that will just keep everybody moving along. Good, good, good. Okay, so it's getting to that time of day where people are coming and going from work. And also it's getting close to the Expo Center being open. So let's just keep an eye on this traffic here and hope that it keeps running smoothly. We've also got the sun going down. What is this car doing down here? Where are you going? You're driving to the tennis courts. The tennis courts over this way. All right, whatever, Jeep. Go home. You're drunk. Right. Yeah, let's keep an eye on this. 
So it's not going too bad. It's all moving rather smoothly. I was worried that this wouldn't be enough for all of our traffic. But with the real-time mod on as well, things do get a bit busy. But it's still moving. It's not backing up. I mean, look at all the people that are coming in for the expo center. Look at them all. Loads and loads and loads of them. They're all waiting here by the bus stop as well. We obviously need to increase our buses. But that is not too shabby at all. Let's just take a quick look at this at night. Oh, look. I love the pink hue that you get over your leisure stuff. Oh, that is looking fantastic, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do you know what? I think we're doing okay. I think... We are doing okay. We've got our visitors turning up. A little bit of traffic, but it's that time of day. I don't think we can complain, to be honest. Maybe a little bit more public transportation, some taxes, something like that. <laughs> and maybe some uh, people to deal with a fire. But overall, I don't think we can complain about that at all. There we go. Coming in to fix the fire. Thank you very much. Oh, no, the expo center's on fire. What the heck? Ah, oh, there we go. They put it out. That's fine. It was the hottest place to visit in town, but it's fine. We need a fire watch tower on here because they ain't putting these trees out anytime soon, are they? <laughs> so let's have a look what the traffic is. Oh my goodness me. 77%. Um, What is going on here? Ah, oh, I see what everyone's been talking about with these roundabouts. We've got some two-way roads going the wrong way, and it's all getting horky-borky caught up. That is not good. Let's just take this road here, and let us change these. There we go. Excellent. So that should hopefully solve that problem, and I think this one's a bit all over the place as well. So let's try that. Yeah, that should be okay. Hopefully that will solve the problem. That's better. A bit better. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Look at that. Three quarters of that roundabout. Perfectly clear. Yep, I think we've done a good job there. Okay, so the time has come to really get these roundabouts sorted. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been messing with you all these episodes. I know most of you haven't noticed... But I've, had, I've got these roads going the right way on both of these roundabouts because the traffic's getting horrendous. Because what I've done, and this is a mistake a lot of people make, so I've, I've deliberately worked my way towards this mistake, honest, and I'm going to fix it, is I've got this really fast road that comes through here. It connects here, goes into a fast road there, fast road there, fast road here. And then I've just plopped a roundabout right in the middle of it. So all these people come down here, just want to go straight on, and they've got this railway line, and they've got this roundabout they've got to contend with instead of just being able to go through. So there's a few different ways you can fix this. And what I am thinking of doing is deleting that. Let's get rid of this roundabout. Uh, no, I want to delete that. Let's use the Move It mod to not do that. Let's use the Move It mod to grab that little globe at the middle and pop that over there. There we go. So ideally, we want this road to just carry on straight through and not have any issues. Let's use our... There we go. Net picker to grab that. Thank you very much. So they will come along there and go straight along. That is fine. There's a few different ways we could do this. I mean, this road coming down here is also one of the sort of fast roads. And that goes into this road here. I mean, yeah, we don't really need it to be like that. What we could do is... Just thinking about lane management and stuff as well. If we upgrade that... Oh, we've got a path that joins there. Which is okay. We can still do that. Yes. So then we've got one lane for straight on, one lane for turning right. So that works out okay there. And we want these to join up. So let's just take that back a little bit. I'm going to try this the simple way, and then we're going to just sort of see how it goes. So, and then we'll take that down to there, that down to there. There we go. That's a little bit high. Yeah, that'll be fine. So that's going to go over the top. And then what we can do is have lanes coming off of here to join up to there. To sort of make a, I want to say diamond interchange, but it's not really a diamond interchange. So we're going to have that one come and go up there. We're going to have that one come and go up there. And then we're going to have that one come and go up there. And that one come to go up there. 
There we go, like that. See, we could do a little bit of lane management in here as well to help with this. Do you know what? I think I'm going to do that. We want this to go down from two lanes either way to one lane either way. Um, which road could we pick? We've got our national highway, this one here. So let's do that. Yeah, that makes more sense. There we go. And now we've got our lane sorted for us. Very good. So the only ones we need to worry about is that going to there and that going to there. This is already sorted, so we don't need to do that. One lane goes off, one lane goes straight on. And the same here. That goes to there, that goes to there. We'll take out this one. Yeah, because this one will go, if we unpause, one lane off and one lane straight on. So hopefully that will help. And then a similar thing going over the top here we could do with some lane management as well. So let's grab this normal road and change that. There we go. So we've got one lane coming off, one lane going straight on. Uh, this goes both ways. So hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. So if we let this run a little bit. Oh, the other thing was our railway line, wasn't it? Let's just pause this a second. I really don't want that hooking into there. So what we are going to do is use our move it mod. And we're just going to sort of get that to go down a bit. <laughs> Maybe not that far, but we can readjust it again afterwards. Let's grab our train line. There we go. A little bit of a rockery around there as well. Dip the road down. And there we go. That rockery is just hiding the blue lines under there. And that will stop that stopping right there as well. And then I'm just thinking, oh, is it going to happen twice in the same episode that we might just need some traffic lights at either end of that? Oh, my goodness me. Is that what's going to happen? And then let's see how that goes, whether we need a full-on junction or whether that's okay. I'm also going to stop them lane switching right there and get them to pick their lane when they come into this sort of node here. So if you're coming down this way, pick your lane and then stick in your lane. And I think the other way is probably okay. Yeah, I might just give them a little bit of room and say no lane switch in there or there. So they have to do it just further back, probably about there. Yeah, let's see how this goes. You know what? It's working okay. I may put some time traffic lights in at either end here. So we can get the flow going if needed. But at the moment, that is going along nicely. And we're not backing up along here at all. We're not backing up along there, which is the main thing. Uh, this little thing here, I think, just needs a bit of lane management and some give way and all that sort of thing. Uh, let's just do a little something here. So if we say you have to give way, and then we'll change the this lane here to only be right-hand turn and one lane straight on. And then this lane coming the other way, only left-hand turn and one lane straight on. Yep. And then we'll give it a bit of breathing room and say no switching there or there. In fact, I'm going to say there. Whoop. Where do we go? I'm going to say there as well. Because I know we've got this node here because it goes from a road to a bridge. So we're going to say when you come in there, which uses this tool... Pick your lane. Oh, no, it's not in there. Okay, well, that should be okay. They should, they'll should they pick it further back here anyway. We'll see how that goes. And then hopefully a similar thing here as well. We'll say no lane switching there or there to give them some space. They'll pick it here and then they'll come up and it will be fine. I mean, ideally, you wouldn't have two big fast roads coming into each other like this. This is definitely going to need some sort of junction because, look, all of these guys are coming from this area over here and that's their one sort of main connection through. And now the traffic is getting bigger and bigger. These two junctions that we've got here, I think we're going to have some sort of super junction over the top, but I don't want to dive into that in this episode. So we'll let this carry on doing what it's doing. I may even... Yeah, do you know what? I am going to do it again. Well, what's happening on Sunday? The Expo Centre is going to open again. I may even put in traffic lights again. Can I put some there? No, I can't add traffic lights. Ah, oh, the game has stopped me from doing it, but it's taken away probably my giveaway signs. <laughs> there we go. So what do you think? How are things looking to you? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe before you go. That would be fantastic so you don't miss out on the next episode later on this week. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.